because I can't afford my rent. Sure. I'm only making $2,000 a month and my rent is $1,100. And then I have to pay Chris $304 when he's married and they both have full-time jobs. Like, and I also provide for our son. It makes it very difficult to, uh, you know, live. I got in some trouble with drinking in the last seven months. I've been working on my sobriety. I'm in rehab right now. Uh, I had an alcohol problem. I'm a single father, full-time father to my son, so I had to get better support so I can work more hours full-time. Are you working at this time? No. No, I'm not. Um, I did make a $50 payment on Monday. Um, I'm still currently looking for work. The defendant has a support obligation of $398 and a balance of $45,835.75. On November 15th, 2023, your honor recommended the defendant be found in contempt and appear before the judge unless $2,240 payment. The payment was made and the hearing was removed. Since making that payment on February 5th, 2024, the defendant has only made one additional payment. This payment was made on May 14th in the amount of $75. Additionally, the defendant has failed to comply with the terms of the April 5th, 2023 stipulated order, which required him to make bi-weekly payments of $225. Thank you. Mr. Fisher, what would you like to say regarding this matter? Um, yes, Your Honor. Um... I know I did not comply. Um, to be honest, I got in some trouble with drinking. Um, in the last seven months, I've been working on my sobriety. Um, really, really turned my life around. Um, I have a new job. Things are really going better for me now. Um, unfortunately, it took something that severe to wake me up. Um, but you know, I'm I'm here, and I ready to take care of this obligation and I'm just trying to move forward from here. All right. Well what is what do you mean by you're ready to take care of the obligation? Um well I currently started doing subcontracting painting for myself and things are going really well. Um I'm working hard. I'm working as many hours as I my body can handle right now. Um you know, um I can make another payment today. I don't I don't have a ton of money, but I can I have some. For the court, how much was his bi weekly payment supposed to be? Two hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay. So it sounds like so there was an agreement that you'd pay two twenty five bi weekly, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And are you indicating now that you were not able to do that? I am now, Your Honor, yes. And what happened with March, April, and May? Um, I went through a detox program and then a residential program. And then I actually did 17 days in jail, 11 days maybe. How soon can you get that 225 in? I could make that payment today, sir. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'll give you a chance to show if you can get back on track here. Um, Given your non-compliance, I was certainly thinking about contempt and get you in front of the judge again, but I'll give you a shot here. Um, thank thank you very much. Turn this matter to I'll go to July 17th. You to make a payment of 225 by the close of business today and then continue with payments of 225 bi weekly. And we'll come back on the 17th to make sure that's been happening. Yes, sir. All right. Any questions? Uh, no, thank you. And thank you, Your Honor. All right, you're all set. Thank you. Have a good day. This is an arrears only case with a balance of $2,103.53. The last payment that was received was in August, in the August 
September and October of 2022 in the amount of $50 each. No, sir, I was looking at something. What was his balance? His balance is $2,103.53. Thank you. Mr. Holbrook, what would you like to say regarding this matter? Um, I'm in rehab right now. Uh, I had an alcohol problem. Uh, I was recently in Oakland Jail County, and I'm now in rehab at Turning Point in Pontiac, Michigan. And uh, I get out of here uh, July 18th. And uh, I, if I can, I, I would start pay making payments again if I can. All right. Well, I'm going to give you a shot here. We're going to journey to August 21st. That'll give you some time to be out and then hopefully get some employment going and have a plan here for getting this paid. Um, you don't owe a lot, but it's been a while since a payment's been made. So we need to make sure we get this wrapped up. Uh, so I'll adjourn you, sir, like I said, to August 21st. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You're all set. This hearing was adjourned from March 13th when the defendant failed to appear, but monies were being received from an income withholding. Since this hearing, the defendant has moved and reported a new employer. Additionally, two non-voluntary payments have been received in March and April, totaling $5,663.24. The defendant's support obligation is $464 and has an account balance of $977. The friend of the court would request to adjourn to July 17th if the defendant can provide contact number for the new employer so an income withholding can be set. Thank you. Mr. Torchy, what would you like to say? Um, I talked to my caseworker and I, I did give the information of my new employer. Um, my five thousand dollar balance should be. She told me is down to five hundred now. Um, yeah, I did move the state um, to get better support. I'm a single father, full time father to my son, so I had to get better support so I can work more hours full time. So, but um, she should. She told me she will. Um, I faxed everything and and uh, gave her proof of everything, and she took a look at it and said that's okay. She got everything she needed. So. I guess you guys will be hearing from her soon. My All balance right. is my balance is five hundred bucks for my rears, and I should be you should be receiving payments. So I just started my job yesterday, here, so All right. you should it be. Sounds like they need some. Hold on, sir. It sounds like they need some additional information regarding your employer. You needed a phone number, is that correct? The contact information he ma emailed and is in the offer letter. Those phone numbers don't get to. I my assumption is it's a sub company of a larger company so we would need contact information for where he's working from like hr a phone number all right did you hear that sir i did do you have that information or can you get it to your caseworker i will give it to my caseworker um asap okay so what we're going to do is adjourn your case to july 17th just to make sure all that happens sure Obviously, sir, if you start to get paychecks and the money's not coming out yet, because it might take some time for everything to get into place, you do need to still make your payment. Understand? Understand. All right. Thank you. You're all set. Your Honor, this matter was adjourned from March 20th to monitor the defendant's health status and ability to work. She has a support obligation of $158 a month and a current balance on the account of $10,993.47. She has been consistently making $150 payments, just short of the 158 obligation. Uh, we are seeking to potentially increase the order on arrears to work towards paying down that balance. And if she has any updates regarding uh, her health status. Thank you, Ms. Lowry, what would you like to say? Um, I did um, get a permit. Um, I did uh, do that. I went into Secretary of State and I just recently got my permit. Um, I still do not have a vehicle um, that is uh, being worked on currently uh, to get one. Um, I am not going to physical therapy uh, that has ended. Um, they told me to continue to go to the gym with that matter. Uh, 
I, the only other health uh, issue that I'm currently having is um, getting sick. Uh, the allergist said that my pneumonia levels are low. That is the only update I have so far. Are you working at this time? No, no, I'm not. And what is the plan for returning to work or is there one? I, uh, the plan was is to get my permit so that I can work towards um, taking the road test, which currently I need a vehicle with no lights on and I do not have that right now. I am searching. Um, I also have a mother that currently is living with me um, that can try to help me out. Um, but I am in a small village where there is no work around me currently to get to, like here in this town. There's no work here. All right. Are you aware that the monthly amount is 158? It sounds like you've been paying 150, but are you aware it's 158? Yes. All right. I'm going to adjourn your case to August. 21st, you do need to continue to make your monthly payment and you should make sure, ma'am, that you're paying on 158. I'll address the potential increase of that payment when we come back in August after um, getting an update from you as to where you're at um, with your health and your employment. Any questions, ma'am? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. I'll see you back here on August 21st. Thank you. Your Honor, this matter was adjourned from March 13th to monitor the defendant's employment and payments. She has a support obligation of $208 a month, current balance on the account of $4,691.37. Last payment received was in September of 2023 and the amount of $50. I made contact with the defendant on Friday, May 17th. And she advised she was still looking for a job and having difficulties finding daycare and was unable to pay at the moment. Um, originally, this case was heard in November of 2023, where she advised that she was pregnant and unable to work. It was adjourned to March 13th, 2024, and she said she would be able to pay $50 that week, but failed to do so. Um, also advised at that time she was trying to find a job at daycare. Thank you. All right, ma'am, what would you like to say regarding this matter? Um, I did make a $50 payment on Monday. Um, I'm still currently looking for work. Um, her father and I, the child that I just had, are trying to work together so we can work separate shifts so we can kind of boot daycare out of the question because right now it's just not really working for us with the shift that he works. Um, and the availability for daycare around here is extremely hard to find because school's getting out a lot of the openings aren't until September so um with that being said I am still trying to look for work I am making money here and there doing like side jobs DoorDash babysitting um but it's not really a whole lot to get by um I'll still continue to try to make the payments um but yeah that's that's kind of where everything's sitting right now. Okay. All right, well, based on the history of this matter, um, I, there is an indication that a payment was just made of $50. But we were here in March for the discussion of making a payment back then. Um, there's been Obviously, a little payment made. There's been test. There's been a statement that there has been some side jobs, but only fifty dollars has been paid. So I am going to recommend a finding of contempt and to set the matter before Judge Hunter on July fifth. Be July fifth at one thirty. If a payment of $2,500 is made prior to that court date, and the court date would be canceled. If not, ma'am, you do need to appear before Judge Hunter on that date. You will get sent a copy of a notice. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you're all set.
Your Honor, this matter was adjourned from March 13th to allow the uh, friend of the court to pursue an active income withholding order on the plaintiff. She does have a monthly support obligation of $304 and a current account balance of $2,306.95. Uh, for the month of May, we have received $164.37. Prior to that in April, she did meet and exceed the monthly obligation and paid $328.74. All right, Ms. Haddix, what would you like to say? Um, I'm in the process of trying to have our case looked over again for this because I did not, I wasn't aware that I missed a court date back in October 20, um, of 2021 that has me set at zero overnights with Camden when I have him every other weekend, every school break and all summer long, if not every weekend, because if Chris won't meet me, I can go up and get him for the weekend. Um, and so I'm trying to get that looked over because I have him more than zero overnights. Okay. Have you and filed I a motion? I don't. Me? Yeah, I a support review. Um, I sent in, and then I also sent okay. in some stuff. Um, I was told for to do it as ex parte, and then it got denied because it wasn't an immediate issue. Which for me it is because I can't afford my my rent. Sure because I am also taking care of Camden and like, you know, so it's, um, it is an emergency issue for me because when I'm only making $2,000 a month and my rent is $1,100 and then I have to pay Chris $304 when he's married and they both have full-time jobs, like, and I also provide for our son, it makes it very difficult to, uh, you know, live. Are the court, is there a support review at this time? We just received the request and that has been initiated. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, ma'am, is adjourn your matter out. What is her balance? Uh, the balance on the account as of today is $2,306.95. And the reason I stopped paying is because I had to get a new job to be able to afford a new apartment because where I was living was not a healthy environment. Um, it was with a roommate and I needed something on my own for Camden and I, you know, so um, that's why I stopped paying child support. And with me being, having to pay it again, like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford rent and my utilities. And Chris and I had dogs for our 10 year relationship that I still take care of. So like, it's a lot. All right. Ma'am, would you please raise your right hand? And do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, so explain to me um, how many overnights you are having Camden at this point. Um, since Chris and I split and I moved to Ascoda, I have had Camden every other weekend, every single break over school, uh, spring break, Christmas break, Thanksgiving, um, any extra days, like say they have that Monday off, I'll have him Friday through that Monday. Um, all, literally the last day of school up until the week before school starts, I have Camden all summer long. Um, and that's how it's been since I moved over to Ascoda in October of 2021. And I have like, okay. I have proof, I have documentation, I have witnesses I could call in. What I'm gonna do at this time, ma'am, is I'm gonna recommend that your support be abated. Um, so we're gonna stop it for the moment. Uh, and then we're gonna run that new calculation, do that support review. And then we'll pick up um, from there based on what the new support review indicates. Okay. Um, maybe we and should also, put this on the doc. We we thought that and we thought our that was our agreement was every other weekend breaks in summer, <clears throat> um, and even on weekends that are technically Chris's, he won't meet me to go get Camden. But if I drive all the way up to Alpena, I can take him for that weekend. So I do that often as well. All right. What I'm going to do is um, adjourn this matter, though, to August 21st, just so we have a control date. We may or may not need it. Um, by then, I certainly would expect the review would be done and we can see where we're at with everything. And that review may result in some type of objection also. But so for today's purposes, we're going to adjourn this hearing to August 21st. I'm also recommending an okay. abatement of support pending that review. 
One last thing. Well, um, he's also claimed Camden every year for the last four years on his taxes and hasn't allowed me to or split with me. Can we is, can we work some? I need, like, how can we? That, that's that? an issue for the two of you to address with the IRS ultimately. Um, if you don't have any specific agreements, then there's no agreement for the court to enforce, and we would default to the IRS regulations. Okay. All right, you, you are all set for today. Um, as indicated, I am re recommending that your support be stopped at this time until we run a, a new calculation and figure out where things are at, okay? Oh, okay, thank you very much. All right, you're all set.